Hello everybody, welcome to another review of a Waldman pen. Thank you to Luxury Brands for loaning me this pen. Um, there's the pen. It's very pretty, it's giant, and just so you know, this is a sponsored video so that I can push this up to the queue to share with you. I'm still gonna be like telling you what I like and don't like, don't panic. Okay, so the pen that we have is the Waldman Sil uh, Manager, and this is the this is the silver version. So obviously you can see that it's very shiny, it's all silver. And um, if you have seen my previous video on the previous Waldman, this is the Tuscany, I tell you a bit about the history of the company. So they've been around for a really long time. They were they started in 1918 in Germany, and they are still making the pens in Germany using like skilled craftsmen and like you know techniques that have been around for a while. And what I can say is that the three pens that I have are quite stunning. So I've had a Waldman before. I had the Waldman the Waldman Tango, and um, beautiful pen. And so these are all quite lovely. My favorite is this one, but this one's actually my least favorite. And I think it's just because it's the biggest and, and like how it feels in my hand. But um, I think some of you might like it. So we're going to do a review of it. And um, as I mentioned in the previous video, the warranty for these pens is 10 years. And the reason I'm mentioning this like right up front is because that's a pretty unusual thing in the pen world. So a 10 year warranty is something to write home about. So this particular pen is a piston filling fountain pen, enriching every manager's desk and gives it a touch of class. I didn't write that, that's what Valvin says on their website. Um, the pen with the steel nib is 400 US dollars and with a gold nib you add about 340 US, so um, like 740 for um, a gold nib piston filler and made of sterling silver. Like, I don't I mean, it's not inexpensive, but like not terrible considering what it is. And um, it's like, it's like a stately pen. It's quite elegant. So yeah, I'm not too surprised about the price and I'm like not horribly uh, against it or anything. So um, as I said, it is a uh, 10 year warranty, like $740. I'm going to do the measurements and all that. Like I'm not going to measure it on the screen. I'll just let you know what they are because I just in case you're curious about the weight. And um, that's basically it about the intro of the pen. It's very shiny. <laughs> it's blowing out, my hand's blowing out with the ring, sorry. Um, yeah, so let's go look at it on the desk. We can look at the packaging, which is like, whatever. It's not crazy packaging, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. I like simple packaging. And enough of my rambles. I will see you in a minute. Okay, bye. Hello! Let's unbox the Waldman Manager in silver. Okay, it's right there. <laughs> Let's look at the packaging. Um, if you saw my review of the Tuscany, um, you will have seen this already. Very basic packaging, but I think it's very attractive. It's a little large, um, but that's okay. It's got the clamshell, it's got a plating here that's quite attractive. Um, it suits the silver theme. Inside, the pen was sitting on the bed, and underneath you get a guarantee card for 10 years. This is not filled out, obviously, because this is just a loaner. Um, you get the little sterling silver 925 made in Germany thingy, and because it sits on, um, because the pen is silver, and because this is a silver pen, you get a little silver polishing cloth. So it's very cute. You get a nice little package here to get you on your way and uh, to look after your pen. I think for this pen, the packaging is a little more appropriate because it's just a little bit bigger. It just appears to be more suitable to me. I realize that it's all the same, but, um, you know, it's just like a, like in my head. So I'm just stacking boxes so I make some space. Uh, so here is the pen. Let's just zoom in a little. It's a pretty large pen. Um, here is the Tuscany from before. Um, here's a Memento Zero in the regular size. So this is um, flat top, and, oh, sorry, not that. it's a flat top, quite heavy. Uh, they say, let's talk about this for a bit here. 
um, wide deep line patterns with engraving space. So it's got, yes, it does have wide deep lines. The engraving space is right here. Steel clip with tension inside. Beautiful clip, very nice and springy. I don't know if it's snug enough to hold the weight of this thing. Um, so that's a consideration. Um, the Evolvement logo. Um, component parts are rhodium plated. The nib is stainless steel in this particular case. The cap has a screw system, they say, and we can see that. And it has a piston filling mechanism with an ink window, which I love, I love the ink window. So there you go. It is a metal section. It is a little slippery. Um, but it's not super slender and I, it is pretty well balanced actually. So it might be okay, but if you don't like metal sections, obviously that's a deal breaker. The cap does post securely. It is pretty snug, but it's super long and it's quite back heavy. So not really, I think what some, something that most people will want to do. Um, the build quality on this pen is quite good. Uh, the finishing is really good. It came to me like in pristine condition. Uh, you can see that it's covered in fingerprints now and I've been really careful with it because I, I don't want it to get scratched up because it is silver. Uh, of course you can buff it and polish it, but it is a loner. Um, closed, it's 146 millimeters. The diameter is 13.7 millimeters and it is a 50 gram pen. So it's substantial, but like, I don't know, it's not completely obscene. I think it's okay. Now. Let's do some writing. It is a steel medium, I believe. Um, now, the one, I have one big issue with this pen, okay? This is a Schmidt Iridium Point Germany nib. Um, there's nothing wrong with Schmidt nibs. There's nothing wrong with Iridium Point nibs. But for a steel nib, and a pen that is sterling silver, and it's a, called the manager, and it's supposed to be like a higher end, like luxury type manager business type pen, um, the nib should be rebranded. So that's just my thoughts. It doesn't have to be. Of course, it's, again, it's not a deal breaker, but for me, it's like, it's such a nice big nib and it's such a nice pen, and I'm like, why would you leave this? It's just weird. So wait, actually, let's just look at the nib quickly. Um, Looks like it's going to be a little dry, snug slit there. Um, round breather hole, the Schmidt Iridium Point. It should say broad in there, but it's covered with ink. Um, it has a plastic feed. And let's look at the tipping. Can we look at the tipping? Mm, looks like it should be okay. Okay. So we have um, the rotten. Huh, interesting. Um, it is a very firm steel nib. Um, I did just ink it, so it's a little on the wet side. I did desaturate the feed, but who knows? Let's just do a little bit of writing and we can see what happens. Okay, so it is a steel medium. I'm sorry, I think I said broad, I meant to say medium. Yeah, it's a medium. Very well adjusted, actually. I thought it was gonna be a little dry. Um, it's not dry. I wouldn't call it a gusher, but for the size of the nib and um, like the tipping size, I think it's appropriate. And it is firm, not really getting any line variation, which is fine. I mean, you're not looking or expecting line variation really. And it is writing well, no issues. I am using smooth paper, smooth paper. No, what I am finding is because of the size of the pen and the weight, my fingers are slipping and I end, I'm ending up holding it right here. So 
that might be something you, you might want to consider. I don't know if it's going to be the issue for everyone, but I can definitely feel the weight and I'm holding the pen and controlling it like this. So for me, this would not be a pen that I would purchase because of that issue. Um, so that's just something to consider. It is slippery, um, it is heavy, and I don't like the nib. So overall, other than the piston and the little cute ink window, this is not a pen that does much for me. <clears throat> Thank you to Luxury Brands for loaning me this pen. I hope that you find this useful. Um, I definitely prefer the Tuscany. This one just doesn't doesn't work for me. It's just not a pen that that is appealing to me. I don't mind the look. Um, I think it's quite pretty. I don't mind how it feels, but like the way it works and how it feels in hand and like the detail, like the Schmidt nib and the weight and the slipperiness, it's just not working out for me. So there you go. If you have similar qualms or like if you have similar taste to I do, like to me in terms of fountain pens, this is probably something that might not work for you. But if you are interested in one, check out the Tuscany. I love it. And I prefer the writing experience of the Tuscany steel nib to this one anyway. So wrap it up. My name is Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Patreon. You can also find me as Toronto Pen Company. Toronto Pen Club. And sell your used goods on Virtual Pen Show. Yay! Okay, if you did enjoy or learn something or appreciate the video, I would love it if you could like and subscribe. It would be fantastic. Stay tuned for one more Waldman video and it's going to be interesting because it's beautiful and it's going to end up in someone's hands. All right. Take care, everybody. Have a lovely day. We will see you on the next time.